Hi and welcome to my channel Ruchi Kranda which means delicious cooking in Konkani. In today's video I'm going to show you how to make bilimbi squash. Bilimbi is also known as bimbuli in Bangalore and is used in cooking as a souring agent. To make this squash we need 500 grams of bilimbi. Remove the stems and leaves and wash them thoroughly. Pat them dry to remove any moisture. Transfer them to a mixer grinder or a blender. You can chop them up if you wish before grinding. Without using any water, grind it to a thick and fine paste. Strain the mixture into a bowl and squeeze out as much juice as possible. If you wish, you can grind this pulp again to extract more juice, but that is not necessary. Just make sure you strain it really well. Once all the juice has been extracted, you can discard the pulp. Weigh the juice using a weighing scale. We need to measure the total amount of juice that we have extracted. I got approximately 350 grams of the juice. We need an equal amount of sugar in terms of weight, so I am using 350 grams of sugar here, which is about 1 3 fourth cups of sugar. And I'm going to use an equal amount of water in the ratio of 1 is to 1, which is 1 3 fourth cups of water. Cook this mixture on a medium heat until all the sugar dissolves and the water begins to bubble. This process will take around 15 minutes, after which the mixture will thicken and we will get a nice syrup. The consistency should be sticky and form a single thread. Turn off the heat and let the syrup cool for a while. Once the syrup cools down, add the fruit juice to it. Add 1 teaspoon of salt. You may also add citric acid. Optionally, you can use 2 to 3 drops of green food color. This enhances the color of the juice. Transfer the mixture into clean and sterile bottles. Glass or ceramic containers work best. Please avoid using plastic bottles. This squash can be refrigerated for up to 7 days. This does not have a very long shelf life as the juice is not cooked along with the sugar syrup. Extend the shelf life by freezing the mixture in ice cube trays, then use as required. To prepare the drink, take 2 tablespoons of the squash and dilute it with about 3 4 to 1 cup of water. Chilled water works best for this drink. If you want to try something different, you can use sparkling water or unflavored soda. You can now enjoy a refreshing glass of Bilimbi juice. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Thank you for watching.